Right, so why am I making this video? Well, it's getting near to being about two months ish, two, three months, you know, till um, we're, I think myself, Phil, and Kim are going to be going over to Salt Lake City. Uh, what are we going to be doing there? Um, aside from Comic Con, it's not really been decided yet, and there's still quite a bit that um, needs to be talked about. Um, which I'm gonna have to see Phil about soon, or Phil and Kim about soon, and maybe I'll possibly even Nicole uh, and do it via this sort of medium, but via Skype. Of course, um, Skype video calls. Um, what are we going to be looking for? Well, um, given how bad Hasbro UK are about toys or releasing certain waves, um, possibly looking for some Transformers. Marvel stuff, ponies in my case, uh, Lego definitely, I guess, well, that's the one thing, because it's going to be cheaper for um, us from the UK buying toys and that over in the States, because um, what some of you may not know is that, uh, or may not realise is that the price of toys in dollars in the US is pretty much the same as it is here in pounds. Uh, yeah, they don't take account for any differences in currency or like that. Because like, if it's $150, for example, in the States... It won't be the equivalent here, like maybe a hundred pounds. No, it'll be a hundred and fifty or so, or around about that. No, it usually is a hundred and fifty. Like if it's, if it's five dollars ninety nine, it's gonna be five quid ninety nine over here. Same way everything, but um, what am I gonna be looking for in Salt Lake City? Um. The Toys R Us um, ponies, of course, even though I can get them here, um, I can get them cheaper there, and maybe some of the sets. Um, the four-pack of Avengers Age of Ultron that has Thor, Hawkeye, Bruce Banner, and uh, Black Widow. Well, the Black Widow I'll maybe sell, because um, I've got one over here in my collection already. And it is awesome. Uh, it's the Winter Soldier one. It comes with two heads. Basically the Avengers hairstyle. And the Winter Soldier hairstyle. Aside from that. The Marvel stuff. And the ponies. Um, possibly Wave 2 of the Combiner Wars. If any of the stores we go into have them. Because at the minute, um, I've got Drag Strip and uh, Wild Rider, or Breakneck. Um, this guy being, uh, I think he was a, I think he's a Hasbro toy shop exclusive. Um, you know, an online exclusive, not really in stores, uh, but one of the original Stundacons. And, uh, yeah, that'll be the thing, because... Um, just the person I bought the other two Stundacons from, Dead End and Wild Rider. Or is it Dead End and Wild Rider? Dead End and Knockout, I think. Ah, oh, Dead End and Knockout. I'm not that confident that they're actually actually going to come through so i'm probably going to have to go for a re try to get a refund on that and it should be possible so 
it will be met the Santacons if I can find them. Well, definitely a uh, motor master I'm going to get over there. And Blackjack too, because if anybody's seen the um, secondary market prices on Blackjack, he's selling for as much as a deluxe. 15 quid at the cheapest. I've seen some at 20. Of course, um... I've actually only ever seen them for about 20 quid, which is ridiculous. But definitely, um, some, of, some of the standard cons. Because um, they, they were the combiner team I had when I was young, um, back in the 80s, whenever you would get like a Transformer for maybe your birthday or Christmas. I remember one Christmas, um, that one year I actually got all the Stunticons. Um not in the box, not in the gift set, um, but in the um well, you know, this individual things and uh, of course me over the years they've been lost and I get a sneaky suspicion given away because um, oh, you know mom sometimes they would give your if, the stuff, if you have the stuff stored upstairs or in the loft or that um, it would eventually sneakily get given away either to neighborhood kids or um, charity shops or stuff or just school sales or church sales or whatever and it's I would say that to any of you guys out there today um just make sure you keep an eye on your collection like you know where the stuff is and basically every so often go up and check on it but definitely that's what we're going to look for um it's not going to be toy centric um this uh journey over to salt lake city because um well, no, Phil, I don't think, well, Phil and myself, um, we've never, ever been out that way before. Uh, I know Kim's been to Vegas before, I think. Uh, oh, hopefully go to Vegas for um, a trip. <sighs> Haven't worked out what to see yet. Um, I'm still a bit pissed off at some of the bloggers and that, who... Earlier on today, made me think that there was um, Disney and Universal Studios in, you know, theme parks in Vegas, and there's not. Uh, I know there's a big Disney store, uh, which would be worth a look around, I suppose. Good, but definitely. Oh, Nicole is suggesting going um, to Vegas, like to wood, a road trip. Fuck yeah! Yeah, a road trip to Vegas would be good. But yeah, mainly just to um, see things that um, I've never seen before. We taste some local foods. Um, definitely open up open to try and new stuff because well after them this past weekend in Belfast or well, the Saturday when I was up there um, the only thing I had was a Cuban sandwich a, a sloppy Joe Cuban sandwich and um, it was awesome like an authentic on the um, Cuban sa sloppy Joe sandwich and Oh, I didn't need to eat anything else that day, um, but oh, I was at the toasters. But yeah, definitely looking around because I know Comic Con is a thing, but I'll I'll talk about that in a, another vlog. Um, and I don't want to really blah, 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 go on much, but yeah, really. 
really looking forward to this um, trip and because it's going to be a vacation as well and I haven't really gone on vacation for quite a few years now. Um, like my time's gone over to New York ended up not really being a vacation because um, a lot of the time I was there yes I was at the at Comic Con but uh, I was I was usually working on something the, the first year there working I was supposed to be working press with somebody but it didn't really help that much I ended up running around doing the stuff myself um, second year didn't really work out cause, but at the same time I was there I was yeah I wasn't really in my right mind the second time I was out in New York cause, yeah if you're in Dublin Airport, be very cautious if you go to eat at the McDonald's there, because I think I got a little bit of food poisoning from that, and just most of the trip over there, I wasn't in the best of mind, you know. But, yeah. Really looking forward to going out to see Nicole again. Cause, um, like I may have said before, it's been about five years or so. That's, that's the last time I uh, sort of seen Nicole in person was at Auto Assembly 2010, which was the very first Auto Assembly I ever went to. Um, but, so, but, uh, I better go before I ramble anymore. And it's just one of those days at work, you know, when you're tired and that. So um, I'll catch you guys later. And um, stay awesome.